this video is to only glorify Father God, Lord Jesus, and, you know, the Holy Spirit within us, the Ruach Kadesh. Um, I had this experience. I, want, I had two experiences that I, want, I had last week, and I want to share it with you. I share it with brothers and sisters in Christ that know me. And I feel like I needed to share it with y'all. Um, this dream was not dream. This this experience I had, um, it was the biggest, one of the two biggest blessings I ever could receive. Um, it was something I always thought about, you know, and um, and I hope it brings confirmation to you. I don't want to glow up for myself. I'm not trying to make Father God seem like, I, you know, I'm not trying to, all I want to do, glorify Father God. That's it. Glorify Lord Jesus. That's it. Um, I can't speak on a lot of people, but my relationship with Jesus is a comical one. It really is. Like, you know, it's, it's more comical than it is anything else, you know. Um, like, when I say comical, I mean comical. Like, Jesus be funny with me. Like, when I say funny, like, yo, he be real funny. Like, you know, you know. And, I, you know, I'm blessed for that because our relationship is comical. It's just comical all the time. Like, comical. Just comical all the time. And, um, I, uh, I had this experience, two experiences I wanted to tell you about. And I'm going to tell you about them. I, um, yeah, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to get around to it. I got things I want to say. And uh, I want to say what I've got to say. You know, I um, I want to say it. I want to say it. So I'm going to uh, say it, you know. And uh, you know, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, I used to, as I grew in Jesus, I would um, pray to him. And I'd say stuff like, you know, because I think about my companion, the whole companionship in heaven. A lot of people don't talk about it. You know, I remember I would talk to some brothers and sisters in Christ, and they'd be like, hey, you're not going to have this, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to, you know, have a companion. You you wouldn't want to do it. And it, like, made me sad, like, because this is something for me. It may be nothing to you, you know what I'm saying? You may not never care for that, but for me, it meant something. You know, um... Some brothers and sisters in Christ are like, hey, you can do away with that. You don't have to kid you like you don't have to have a companion. You don't need to know that. You won't need it. like and when they would say it like this is just me, but I would feel kind of sad because I, I would want that. It's not like I'm trying to go around heaven like, yo, I want to have sex with every sexy female I see in heaven. No. But this is something I want. This is something I need. Like, you know, and um but it's not like I'm trying to be sexually immoral. Nothing like that. And um and these experiences, man, they like so dear to me, you know, and um and I wanna tell you something, brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, um as you grow in the Lord, it's like uh, those of you that hear from the Lord. It's like we've been under attack where it feel like the enemy's trying to deter the Lord. Where it's like a fight to hear from the Lord. It's like a fight or or it's like sometimes it's hard or it's like we hear something and we could be wrong. It's not like we're trying to be. It's not like we're trying to doubt the Lord. But it's just, you know, sometimes the enemy will just try to just turn the message from being even being said. You know, and um, sometimes it's like. We'll perceive it as the Lord when it's not. It's just a deceiving spirit, a spirit, a familiar spirit. And um, and sometimes it like almost like it can almost make you say, hey, I, I just don't want to hear this. I don't it almost make you say, I don't know. Like, I don't want to sit here and call the Lord a liar. I don't want to say what he tells me wrong. I don't want to, you know, what I'm saying I say this and somebody else say, hey, the Lord, tell me that, you, you know, and I don't want to cause confusion. You know, because Jesus is not an author of confusion. Father God is not an author of confusion. You know, and um, and I just want to tell you, I'm not trying to, I hope I give you confirmation. I hope this encourage you, bless you. That's the only reason I'm saying it. Like, you know, a lot of experiences I get, a lot of dreams I get, 
I, sometimes I keep them to myself because I'm not a, a diva about YouTube. I don't even know how to reply to most of y'all. Y'all like may get in touch with me a lot, and sometimes I don't even know how to reply, so I leave my phone number and my email so you can shoot me an email or hit me up on the phone like, yo, what's good? What's up, Ray? Like, yo, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a chill dude. I'm like, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you, I'm an old-fashioned dude. I ain't going to be like, OMG, LOL, I can't believe you called me and texted me. Like, yo, I'm a straight up bro. Like, yo, what's up? Hey, how you doing, man? I'm straight. I'm chill. Like, I'm, I'm chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to be honest with you, I... To be honest with you, I I, I don't know what I don't know what be wrong. I, I'm not someone that's gonna text you. I'm gonna call you. You send me a text, how you? I'm gonna call you. Be like, hey, I'm doing fine, and hang up. Like, yo, just I'm a bro, man. Like, I don't care. Um, I'm a legit bro for my heart. Like, I serve Lord Jesus. I'm blessed when I can serve. I'm blessed when I can make a laugh. I'm but but I'm gonna tell you, I'm a bro. I'm a legit straight up bro, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? A corner store fried chicken kind of broke. Well, not fried chicken, but I hit up Wendy's dollar menu like it's nothing. Um, I'm t you know, I'm just a legit bro. Like, you know, Lord Jesus, he blessed me where he can use me, and I thank him for it. Sometimes I be asking him, like, what do you see in me? And I sometimes would just feel, but it, not just here, but feel where he would say the best thing. I see the best thing. I'm pleased with you. You know, and... Um, I just wanted to tell you that. You know, I, like when I make these videos, it's like I'm not like some, like truth be told, I'm a messenger and it ain't something that I said I was. It was something the Lord was saying as I was relaying this message. The Lord wanted me to tell this brother in Christ that's dear to me. I'm not a, um, I'm no one. I'm legit nobody. I'm proud of it, man. I'm just, and, um, like, I just want to say that, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me get into the experiences. Oh, so if I don't get in touch with you, if I don't seem like I reply to message, like, just call me or email me. I probably, I'll email you better like that because just YouTube is so funny. I don't even know how to just send you, uh, 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 I would say message me. Please message me by all means, but if it don't seem like I'm getting in touch with you because YouTube's so funny, I can't even just reply to y'all now, man. It's just like, it's like a, it, it seems like it's a quest. Like, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, Q-Tube and Fife, it's a tribe called Quest. Yeah, it's a Quest, that's what it is. Um, let me share this experience with you. Um, I went to heaven. And when I went there, I'm going to tell you the first experience. I was laying in my bed, and um, I was focusing. I don't know what I was focusing on, I was just focusing. Just focusing as hard as I could, just trying to focus. And so I would pray. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to focus. And when I kept trying to focus, it's like I was laying in my bed, but I felt like my spirit just got out of my body. I looked at my body and I shot up. And when I shot up, it's like I would, it's not like I shot up all the way. It's like I would come up and then I look at my body, come back down. I would go up to the ceiling, come back down. I would go up where I would see the roof of the house, come back down. And then I shot up. And when I shot up, it's like I shot up and it was past night, past the orbit, past the clouds. You know what I'm saying? Where I was on, it seemed like I was on heaven's clouds. Like just at the entrance of heaven, you know. And um, and I seen Lord Jesus. And I, I walked up to him, gave him a hug, kiss on the cheek. You know what I'm saying? A hug, a legit hug, you know. And, um, and when I seen him. It's like, it was so cool when I seen him, man. It meant a lot to me. You know, and um, gave him a kiss. And um, then I seen Abraham. You know, because this is his bosom. You know what I'm saying? It's still his bosom, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when I seen him, why that? He was just like, yo, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Well done. Like how Jesus would say it, say it to him. I walked up to him and gave him a legit heart. And then I seen my companion. And when I seen my companion, I thought she was the most beautiful thing I've seen. I've ever seen. When I seen her, she was just standing there as beautiful as she was. And she was saying something in mid-sentence. I just started kissing her. Her lips were so soft. So soft. Like, oh my gosh. It's just soft. Like, 
I was kissing her, man. I could have forgot my name. I could have forgot how to spell my name. I could have forgot the alphabets. Like, Ray, what are the alphabets? I don't know. A, B, Q, rectangle, uh, triangle, circle. Uh, like, you know, I would have just kept going, like, just naming stuff. Uh, four, six. Like, you know, I just forgot my name because it was just, I was kissing her. And, and it seemed like I was just gone. And when I had that experience, it was after I kissed her, um, I went back down and I went into my body. And this one night I was praying with this brother in Christ, you know, and um, the Lord was like saying to him, you know what I'm saying? He wanted me to say to you, you know, he wanted me to say, do you want to go home because he want to take you home? I'm like, yeah, 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 I want to go home. Like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, now, like, you know, he was like, the Lord was like saying, do you want to go home? I'm like, yeah, you know, so me and him legit prayed. And we were praying for like 30 minutes, you know, 40 minutes, you know, all together like an hour and a half, you know, and, um, and I laid in my bed and it was last Thursday. And, um, and this time when I laid in my bed and I got out of my body, I just shot up. I didn't go back down. I just shot up. Just shot up, and um, and when I shot up, I uh, I was on heaven, and this time I felt it clear. Like when I was on the clouds, when I was walking on the clouds, it felt like how you how your feet would feel when they dangling, but it felt like I was walking on something. It's like I felt like the clouds were going through my toes, like it was kind of a ticklish feeling, like they were going through my toes when I'm walking, like. And um, I seen Jesus, and when I seen him, I walked up to him and gave him a legit hug, man. And when I seen him and gave him a hug, it's like I kind of stuck back off him and bowed in front of him. I know I should have probably bowed and got up and gave him a hug, but I just gave him a hug first, and I stepped off and got on my knees and bowed in front of him, like, you know. And, um, and then I seen my companion again, and she was so beautiful, man. I couldn't even. Words wouldn't even just... Like, uh, and uh, when I seen her, I was holding her hand, and she her hands was like the the most feminist, beautiful looking hand. Like you know, her hands were just oh my gosh, like it was beautiful. And um, and then I was holding it, and I was walking off. And as I was walking off, like Abraham was like, still my bosom. I'm like, oh man, my fault. What the? And as I gave Jesus this hug. I was laying in my body and I'm feeling this love, this peace come over me as I'm laying in my bed. You know, it's this peace coming over me. It happens. But I can't even, the smile won't go down, you know, you know. And he was like, still my bosom. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, my fault. Walked up to him, gave him my heart, like my bed. You know, I'm like, oh, my gosh. I just walked past, like, Abraham, like he wasn't even there. And, um... Gave him a hug, man. And uh, and I was like, my fault, man. I ain't mean to ignore him. You know, she was just so beautiful. I forgot about everything. And me and her, we were walking on the streets of gold. And when I say streets of gold, it wasn't like brick gold. I mean straight gold. Like, you know, but it was this transparent kind of gold. And I was holding her hand. And I said, you know, I said to her, where we going? And she said to me, I'm taking you to my mansion. You know, and I'm like, word, word. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, word. You know what I mean? Like, cool. Like, yo, I'm taking you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a bro, so I'm like, man. Yeah, go ahead and take me to your house. You know what I'm saying? Like, Charlie Murphy would say, yeah, go ahead and take me to your house. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You already know, you already know what I'm trying to do when I get in that house. I'm gonna get in that house, <laughs> you know, and um, you know, you know, and that's just not like word, you know what I'm saying? But I was just thinking like word, we're going to your mansion, like cool. As I seen people, I would speak to them, they speak to me, like word. And when we got to her house, her house was. Hold on one second. I'm gonna make... just wanted to make sure the video's you know going good. Um. As we got to her house, her house, like that, the, the the landscape had this. It was mixed with a technological, a modern day Japanese 
Chinese landscape mixed. It was like mixed with the Japanese landscape. It was mixed with like this this modern modern day Japanese landscape with how the technological look to it and everything. And it was mixed with this um, modern day. It was mixed with the old Japan. So it's like imagine it looking like old Japan mixed with new Japan. And I'm like, it was just looking cool. It was like flowers were looking beautiful. I'm like, man, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. And um, and as I seen it, I was like, man, this is beautiful. You know what I said? And the thought came to me. I said to her, hey, where's my mansion? She looked at me. This is your mansion. And when she did that, man, I just looked at her and I kissed her, man. And I was just kissing her, kissing her. You know, it's not like tongue, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 you know, I never like tongue kissing a girl. Like, yo, keep your tongue in your mouth. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, it was always, that thing kind of creeped me out. I never, it was just like a legit lip kiss and her looks was so soft. And as the, it was so passionate. It was like, imagine the best sex times an infinite number. And you just kissing. And it was so passionate. And she, would, and she would say to me, hey, your body. And she's smiling and blushing. Like, your body can't take this. Your body can't take this level of passion. And, um, and, and it's like. And all of a sudden, I remember when we was um, in my mansion. It's like, in our mansion. It's like, she was taking me where I would see, like these universes, like these doors to these universes. It's like five doors and each of them are universes. You know, and um and I stopped her and I um and I stopped her and I was grabbing her waist. I grabbed her by her waist, brought her into me and I just sniffed her hair like like it's not like a hair butter in the back. It's just like I brought her in and just was smelling in her hair like like just the aroma was just oh my gosh like it was just it couldn't help but be turned on like I just you know what I'm saying she ain't tripping nothing like she won't even like you know I just brought her in was just like it just felt so cool man and it's like I turned it felt it smelled so good it was just mild she smelled so mind blowing good man it's like just like sanity was out of the building. It wasn't even in the same country as me, man. It's just, and I brought her over, and it's like I grabbed her face as I'm standing behind her to kiss her. Her lips were just so soft, I couldn't start kissing her. We were just kissing, kissing. And she was just like, Ray, your body can't handle this level of passion, you know? And I'm like, you know, and um, because this, you know what I'm saying, this is, it's like this. Think like this companion of romance a man will have with a woman. It's like we thinking we ain't gonna have that up there. But oh my gosh, are you wrong? And um, and it's like I, I gently like you know what I'm saying it's like not rough like, but I you know what I'm saying I pushed her against the wall and we were just kissing and kissing. I just didn't care. I just kept kissing her. And all of a sudden she was on laying on top of me. And not like how she would ride me, but like with one leg, it straddled in between mine. And I was saying something as I'm talking that she laying on top of me. And as I was in mid-sentence, she just started kissing me. Oh, man. I just was gone. Now, imagine you in mid-sentence and out of nowhere, like, I just, like, she just started kissing me in mid-sentence. Like, I was just gone. And then I got on top of her. And I just, um, I just laid on her breast, you know, and, um. It's like in heaven, you don't need to breathe. You don't need to breathe. And, um, but she did this thing that girls do when it's like, like, when it's like, I don't know, not, it, like, I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of girls don't do this just with random head dude, but it's like, if it's a, like, I don't know, like, females, you know, when it's a guy you like, that you love, that you just love, and you lay on, he laying on top of you, you just, hmm. Like, you just, you just let this exhale out. It's just something about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I always love, I always, I like, I just love that. And I was just laying on her breast, and oh my 
Gosh, when I was laying on the breast, it was like the softest pillow, the softest bed, the softest couch, the softest, 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 softest. Oh man, it was like imagine you laying on a bed and not in a suffocating way. This bed just engulfs you. That's what it felt like as I was just laying on a breast. And I was just laying there, and I just, you know, and to be told, I, I like she could have said, I want to take you to see something happen. I, did, I couldn't have, I'm going to be real with you. I didn't even care. I didn't even care. Like, I would have just stayed right there, laying on her breast. And um, but out of nowhere, I just, out of nowhere, I just, like, instantly was in front of Jesus, and he was just smiling, like, you know what I'm saying, just. You know, just smiling. And I was just begging him, Jesus, please don't send me back to earth. Please don't send me back to earth. Please, please. He's just looking at me smiling. Please don't send me back to earth. Please, please. You know, I'm pleading with him. And then I seen my grandmother. And she was with someone else. And when I seen her, she was just like, hey, I'm glad you make it. I'm glad you, you know, I'm glad to see you up here. And she was like, I'm sorry for how I treated you. You know, when I was like, you know, when I was alive, she was like, I'm sorry for how I treated you. And I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, straight. Because I really, no offense, I just, like, I, I really just genuinely don't want to be around her. Like, you know, just how she treated me. Like, anybody that know me know where I'm coming from. Um, and, um, and then I seen Aaliyah and left out. When I seen her, it's like I seen Aaliyah. Aaliyah walked that to me. Like, and, and those only two females I was ever shy about. Like, I'm not shy. Like, if, if Nia Long was in front of me or Sanaa Lathan was in front of me, I'd just be like, hey, how's it going? You know, because they just ain't really the kind of females I really like talking to. But Aaliyah and left out, something about them just turned me on extra hard. It's like, and it's like, I'd be shy of them. Like, it's like kind of shy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, on the outside, I could be like, yo, what's up, man? I'm chilling. But on the inside, I'm like, ah, this is all we have left. <laughs> like, I was just done. And, um, and when I seen her, she was like, hey, how you doing? I gave her a hug. And then I seen left out. Left out, I was like, hey, what's up? What's up? You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm coming off cool. Like, yo, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? You know, and um, I don't know. I'm shy when it comes to them two females. Because just how they were, they weren't really feminist. They weren't really feminine. It was like they were just like, they they weren't like that. It was just like they were in this, in this sexy, tomboyish way, just beautiful. And it's just like mind-blowing beautiful to me. They just always were the kind of females I dug. Like, you know what I'm saying? Left I was like, you know what I'm saying? Right up my alley as a female, man. And um, and when I seen I was like, cool. And then I seen this guy walking up to me. And as he was walking up to me, I recognized what he looked like when he was on earth. And it was Patrice O'Neal. Patrice O'Neal's in heaven. And he was like, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, what's up, man? And then I seen Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor looked good, had a mustache, looked good. And he was like, the first thing he said to me, man, don't come up here trying to take my heaven work. Richard, you know, Patrice and I was like, yeah, man, I'll be trying to take our work. And I'm like, man, I just got up here. I'm not going to take your work. Get out of here. And I um, just got up here. Like, I just wanted to lay on a breast for a couple of thousand millenniums, you know, and um. And I was just saying to Jesus, please don't send me back. Please don't, please don't, please. You know, and he was just looking at me smiling. And he gave me this fruit to eat. And when he gave me this fruit, it was like, I bit into the fruit and it was more juice than fruit. Imagine you biting into a little small fruit and you could fill a cup, you could fill up a, a plastic cup of this juice. And it was just running down my face. I didn't even care. It was just running down and I'm like... They just running down, like just running down, and I ain't even care. I just <laughs> juice just just flowing, just flowing. I didn't even care. I just <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I'm looking like an I ain't even care, yo. And Jesus gave me that fruit, and I understand why He gave it to me is because so I can un so I can stand to be in the presence of Father God. And when I was in the presence of him, it's like, 
when he's looking massive, like massive, just sitting on his throne. It's like, you know what I'm saying? He's just sitting on his throne. And you feel this love, this overwhelming love emanating from him. And when you feel it, it's like, imagine you feeling love from doing the right thing. It's like, imagine you, as you walk towards him, you will feel this love. And when you got on your knees, the love will be amplified. And when you got down and you bowed in front of him with your head down, it will be amplified so much more. You can't help but feel it. And when I felt that, it's like, it was so powerful. And then the next thing I know, I was back in my body. I was like, and I understood why Lord Jesus didn't say nothing. Because if he said to me, Ray, you got to go back, I would have been devastated. And I would have been more sad that I have to go back instead of just me being in heaven. And um, I'm going to tell you how funny Jesus is. You know what I'm saying? When I was just, you know, with my companion, I'm going to tell you, it's like, as I was just saying intimate things to her. It's like, he was like, he was like, I saw everything you were doing, Ray. And I'm like, you know what, Jesus, you real funny right now. You know what? It's times like this, you, I really, really, really need you to not remind me you omnipresent. Like, really? And he was just laughing, just done, just done. I'm like, unbelievably laughing. And I'm going to tell you how funny my companion was. She was like, you know what I'm saying? I knew he was watching. You know, I'm like, you know what? You really like sounding weird right now. It's like, you really not helping me out. You sound like, you know what I'm saying? You coming off like, you know what I'm saying? Like kinky is all get out. Like I knew he was watching. You know what? For real, you ain't got to let me know that kind of thing. You know, and um, they were just laughing. And Jesus, he blessed me with this experience. And he wanted me to get a brief sample of what's waiting for me on the other side and what's waiting for you. He put it on me to really make this video today. Because some of you really wonder about the intimacy in heaven. Would you still have it? Or would it be something that you, you know, because I, I'm not speaking for all of you. But for me, the beauty of me kissing my woman or the beauty of me holding her. I didn't want to say goodbye to her. I share this and I, I want this to encourage you. The intimacy and the romance that we be had. Uh, it's like, it's like, imagine like, you know, making love and it's like amplified an infinite fold. An uh, infinite, gosh, infinite, I, I, you know, amplified an infinite fold. Like, I sound like Elm, uh, so Stavusta, or Christian Bale when he talks laid back, like, yeah, this emphasize an infinite fold. Nah, it's just, emph it's emphasized, the infinite fold. And this is just from kissing. Just from kissing. I don't even want to elaborate because I don't want to cause you to lust or think this or think that. Nah, I just wanted this to encourage you and to bless you. You know, um, I hope it does, cause it was it was a blessing to me to, for me to share this, just to share it with you, and for me to honor Father God, and Lord Jesus, by sharing this. Y'all be easy. Um, send me a message. You know, um, send me a message through my email, or send it to me on YouTube if you still know how to do it, or or call me, cause I leave my number up there so you can hit me on the jet. Well, I hope this helped out. Lord Jesus is coming now. Oh, and that's something he's just been telling me he's coming now. He's not delaying. And a lot of y'all, I know how we can... I want to tell you this recent. Like, recent... You know, and Jesus was laughing with this whole experience because he needed to laugh because he's... I would really feel the sadness on him. Like, this ain't the time to joke with him. And I would really talk to him. And I'm like, Jesus, I... um. I'm going to be honest with you, I love you, but I really don't want to be here. Because I can't stand to be in a place where I can't joke with you. I can't make you laugh. I can't be myself. You know, I got to subdue it. You know, and um, I can't stand it. I hate it. So I ask that I beg that you take. Because I want to make you laugh again. I want to see you smile again. 
I hope this helps. Peace.